with this analysis of it was really designed to take a look at sort of uh, treatment parameters and sort of decision making that we see in the community setting uh, to get an idea of what agents have been utilizing uh, relapsed refractory follicular lymphoma in the second and third line setting and see if there was been any shift uh, with the advent and approval of some of these newer agents in the second line setting. So um, we did separate into two time points, uh, one that was primarily pre-approval of R squared with the augment study and one sort of post, which also would capture uh, most of the Delta inhibitors and uh, Tazimetostat. Um, so what we basically saw, uh, at least preliminarily, is that we still do see that uh, there is diminishing returns um, with treatment of follicular lymphoma. So uh, outcomes from um, sec first to second line, um, should I say outcomes from with second line treatment uh, were still better uh, than what we see with outcomes with third line and beyond. Um, we didn't, at least in this uh, subset, of, I mean, in this analysis that we conducted, see uh, a significant increase in the use of some of these targeted agents. Uh, most of these patients were still readily and heavily treated with chemotherapy. We did see more utilization of bendamustine in the second time uh, cohort than we did in the first. Uh, but it wasn't that dramatic shift that we would have expected with the approval of some of these second line and third line agents uh, that we would see a more robust utilization of R squared um, or even the Delta inhibitors of Tazimetostat. I mean, so this just suggests at least uh, in this uh, sort of analysis that we conducted, which obviously is limited by just because these are insurance claims uh, from a certain subset of the U.S., um, that a lot of these newer drugs haven't infiltrated sort of the mindset of the treating physician as of yet, but um, just gives us an idea that, I mean, there's still some improvement to be, um, some improvement is still needed in these patients uh, with sort of treatment outcomes and sort of some of the things we can try to do, but mainly more so that we need to do a better job of educating some of the community physicians about some of these newer drugs and then sort of encourage more utilization as these uh, agents that, as we can see from clinical trials, tend to have better outcomes than what we see with just repeated, repetitive use of chemotherapy.